look at how to check differentiability of a function at a point. So we are given two, we are given a function. So the function is fx equals to 2x for x less than 0 and x squared for x greater than or equal 0. So our question is, is f is differentiable at x equals to 0? So to check this, we have to check limit from the left and from the right using this formula. So now let's check limit from the left first. So limit x approaching 0 from the left, fx minus f0 over x minus 0 equals to limit x approaching 0 from the left. So we are going to use this function. Okay, because uh, to check limit from the left, we have to check from uh, in the domain of x less than 0. So we take 2x here and then minus with f0. We substitute 0 into 2x, we get 0. And divide by x minus 0, which we will we'll get x. So lastly, when we simplify, we are going to have limit x approaching 0 from the left, 2, which will be equals to 2. And similarly, now we are going to check for limit x approaching 0 from the right. So for x approaching 0 from the right, the function we use is x squared. Because we have here x greater than or equal 0 is x squared, the function at that domain. And then we use this formula and evaluate the limit. The answer is 0. So our conclusion for this question is, uh, because left-hand limit is not equal to right-hand limit, therefore f prime 0 does not exist. Hence, f is not differentiable at x equals to 0. Now let's determine the function fx equals to modulus x. Is it differentiable at x equals to 0? So first we have to define modulus x equals to negative x when x less than 0 and it is equals to x when x greater than 0. So we are going to use this formula f prime a equals to limit x approaching a fx minus f a divide by x minus a. So we have to check the limit from the left and from the right. So I'm going to start for limit from the left first. So limit x approaching 0 from the left. I am going to use the function negative x minus with uh, f0 is 0 divide by x minus 0. So when we simplify we have limit x approaching 0 from the left is negative x over x. So it is equals to limit x approaching 0 from the left, negative 1, and equals to negative 1. And then I am going to evaluate the limit of x approaching 0 from the right. So the function use when we evaluate limit x approaching 0 from the right is x minus with f0 which is 0 and divide by x minus 0. So we have limit x approaching 0 from the right x over x and when we divide the answer is limit x approaching 0 from the right 1 or it is equals to 1. Hence, the conclusion is left-hand limit not equal to right-hand limit, therefore f prime 0 does not exist.